Hi and welcome to another Zendesk Explained video. Today we'll be talking about Zendesk placeholders, what they are, why you would use them, where they can be used and how you can use liquid markup to do all sorts of useful things like changing date formats, conditionally showing stuff and even calculating data. So let's start with what they are. Placeholders are special codes that can be used in Zendesk to dynamically insert data into tickets, macros, triggers, automations and other areas of your Zendesk support. They are represented by double curly braces like this. But why would you use a placeholder instead of just typing the information directly? Well, firstly, placeholders allow you to personalize communication en masse. So say you wanted to update a whole bunch of tickets about the same issue. Using a placeholder, you can insert the requester's name, even though the rest of the response is the same. Secondly, they help ensure consistency in ticket responses by providing a standardized way to include certain information. And thirdly, agents can save time by not having to manually copy or enter information. So let's start with a basic example. When someone submits a ticket, perhaps you want a trigger to automatically send a reply, letting them know that the ticket has been received. So in the trigger that sends the response, you could include placeholders like ticket.requester.first underscore name or ticket.id to inject their name and the ticket ID. Maybe you also want to inject a link to the ticket or inject all the comments made on the ticket so far. It's as simple as including those placeholders. So where do you find a list of all the placeholders that you can use? Well, when you're working in Zendesk, you can add a placeholder by typing the first two curly brackets and then a limited list of options will show that can be whittled down depending on what you type. This is the same if you're working on a Zendesk ticket, a macro, a trigger, or somewhere else. Alternatively, if you Google Zendesk placeholders like this and click into the Zendesk placeholder reference page, this is a more exhaustive list and gives you references to everything from general ticket data to custom fields and even user and organization fields. But this reference will still leave you needing to look up the IDs of items like custom fields. So an easy way to look up and create placeholders is to use the free Sweethawk liquid placeholders app that you can download from the Zendesk marketplace. As you can see, in this app, you're able to search for any ticket field and the app will go and find the ID and construct the placeholder for you. You can even test it on an example ticket to see if it's working before you use it. But these basic placeholders are not the whole story. You see, placeholders are really just an expression of an underlying template language called liquid markup. And liquid markup is not just about referencing data, it's a way to filter it, manipulate it, and even alter workflows with it. So say for example, you have a date field and you wanna use a Zendesk macro to be able to communicate that date to the customer, but using a standard placeholder injects the date in a format that you don't like. And this is where you can alter the date in a raft of ways. What we're showing here is a way to make the date look a little prettier. But the Sweethawk Help Center has an article that shows many different ways to reformat the date or even move the date X time into the past or future. Another example may be that you want to communicate the sum value of two fields. For example, in this case, we want to inject the overall cost by multiplying the number of items by the cost of each item. This is where the math functions of Liquid can do just that. You could even test it out in the liquid placeholders at first by adding the two fields to be calculated, then combining them and adding in pipe times colon, setting the ticket ID and clicking test like this. Once you're happy with the outcome, you're free to inject this newly formed placeholder into your macros or triggers as you see fit. Next up is around conditionally showing information based on the status of other ticket fields. For example, say you're wanting to send off an approval for refunds using the Sweethawk Approve app, but depending on the size of the refund, you want the approval to contain different information. You could create a rule in the approval definition that states if the refund size is small or medium, then inject a small amount of information. Whereas if the refund size is large or very large, then provide all of the details. This can keep the approval data clean and allow your approvers to make decisions faster. 
As you can see, placeholders are more than just a way to reference data. With the use of Liquid Markup, they are a data machine that can make your team faster and more consistent. You can learn more about these examples and much more by going to the Sweethawk Help Center and searching for placeholders. Sweethawk also provides a super suite of apps that help you to unleash your team's full potential. As the leading provider of cutting edge Zendesk apps, we're here to empower your business with the tools it needs to thrive. We provide solutions in areas like employee experience, ITSM change management, SLA workflows and reporting, surveys, and so much more. Install a free trial of the Sweethawk Super Suite today.